Glory to God. Hallelujah. We bless God for another Wednesday. Glory to God. A time to spend with midday glory. Time for us to fellowship together and to pray together and to just bless one another in Jesus' name. We know that we can trust in the power of Jesus' bloodshed, glory to God, to wipe away all of our sin. He promises that he would restore us to fellowship and to strengthen us to live in a way that would please him. He has positioned us to be able to do so, glory to God. We, we are still on the subject, a God who forgives. Romans 5.20 tells us that we're, but where sin increased, grace increased all the more. All this is from God who through Christ reconciled us to himself in Christ Jesus. God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting our trespass against us. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 9 and verse 18, it says, All things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not in putting their trespasses unto them, and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. And in 2 Corinthians 5, 21, says, For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. And in Romans 6, 1, says, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans 5, 1, says, Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, we, we are told that Satan is the accuser of the brethren, meaning that Satan would try his best to convince us that God would never love us sinners. Glory to God. But we have to recognize those thoughts are lies, and that instead to choose, we must choose to believe what God says. What God says about us is already written in his word, and his word does not change. It's truer than anything that we could ever think or even imagine or even feel, glory to God. Jesus said that those of us who build our lives on his word are those whose lives stand strong and secure and able to weather anything in our lives. Hallelujah. Matthew 7 says, Therefore, whosoever heareth those things of mine, we're talking about Jesus now, and doeth them, I will liken unto him a wise man, which built his house upon a rock, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not. Glory to God, for it was founded upon a rock. And, every, and anyone that heareth these things of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Hallelujah. If we've asked God to forgive us, and, and, and we've come un, unto him with serious repentance, God has forgiven us. So his word says so, Lord, hallelujah. We thank him that for his forgiveness, and we begin to rejoice in our secure relationship with him. God is able to change areas in our lives that doesn't line up with his desire for us. 1 Corinthians 1, 9 says, God is faithful by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to God. Everything that we need is in his word. We, we must just truly uh, rely and trust our Savior. So we said last week that we were going to break down Psalms 51, so we're going to begin this week to break it down. I'm telling you, as I've gone through this thing, I have to realize that I only have 10 minutes to, to minister the word, but this thing is good, so I know we're going to go over until into the month of June, but it's, it's such a great study to go back and to study the Word of God over and over again, because when we do that, God gives us different revelation of His Word, glory to God. We fall in love with God through His Word. We know that we are insecure through God, through His Word, hallelujah. So in the first two verses of the psalm, David is pleading for God's mercy. He says in first verse 1, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. And then verse 2 says, wash me 
turn me from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. So here we see David crying out to God for mercy because he recognizes that God's revealed character is one of love and is, and is one of compassion. He says the Lord is a compassion and is a gracious God. He's slow to anger. He abounds in love and faithfulness. He maintains love to the thousands. He forgives wickedness. He forgives rebellion and sin. Yet, he is the God who disciplines his children, but he also forgives us and he restores us. Hallelujah. So David calls upon God's mercy as his sin lies exposed before the almighty God. But listen to this. Even though our God is merciful and he's compassionate, he really don't owe David no favors. But David realized that he is bankrupt. So that's why he began to, 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 to pray to God and ask God for his mercy. And, and in spite of, of his sin with Bathsheba, he's, David is a very smart spiritual man, and he knew how to go to God in a prayer pardon. He, in mercy, the definition of mercy means be gracious. God's covenant, loving kindness, his compassion, heartfelt pity, a heartfelt response by someone who has something to give to one who has a need. Mercy is compassionate or kindly forbearance, shown towards an offender, an enemy, or other persons, and one's power. Compassion, pity, or benevolence is the disposition to be compassionate or forbearing. So David, David, David is, is pouring out in his heart. He's pleading to Yahweh. He's pleading to God to be gracious to him. David asked for this mercy from God in accordance with God's well-known character, He's, God is qualified of steadfast love. He's qualified of unfailing love. He's qualified of unconditional love. He's qualified, qualified of loving kindness and compassion. So after David cried out for mercy, his next step was to, to uh, ask God. He, he requested for pardon in verses of the latter part of verse 1 and going into verse 2. He asked God to blot out. His, his transgressions. And then he says, God, wash away all of my iniquities and cleanse me from all of my sins. And David makes his request for forgiveness. So he asks God to blot it out. He asks God to wash it out. Blot means to wipe or to wipe out. So in verse 1 and verse 9, the word seems to, to suggest removing a stain. So wash your way or wash thoroughly means to wash, to be washed, perform the work of a fuller. That is to make stuff clean and soft by treading it, by beating it, it with coal in it. The same verb is found in the latter part of verse, B, verse 7 B when it says, it says, wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Glory to God. So David knew that his stain of sin was deep. And he recognizes his need for a radical, a deep washing. So he cried out to God to cleanse him from all of his iniquities. The word cleans means to, to be pure, to be clean, to purify. So the, the word is used of a, of a wind sweeping the skies, clearing the purifying of civil. It is used of, of moral purity as well as the, the ritual purity of the Levites and of the holy vessels in the tabernacle. The objective formed from this verb is used in verse 10 where David asked for a pure heart. He asked for a clean heart, glory to God. David asked God for a full pardon and cleansing of his character and based on God's merciful nature. It is a bold and, and a very hopeful prayer, wounded sinner longing to be restored to fellowship with his God. Hallelujah. See, God, David knew that he must repent. He must do it to his fullest. All God desires to see in us is sincerity of our repentance, sincerity of our crowd to him for pardon, sincerity and loyal dedication and trustworthy and being reliable unto him. It's dangerous. Hear me now. It's dangerous to play with God. The Bible says don't let the sun go down on our wrath. Don't give the devil a foothold, glory to God. When we sin and when we falsely repent, when we don't do that thing honestly, we are allowing the devil to have a foothold of our lives. We don't play with God. We don't tempt God. We don't, we don't know when the rapture will come. We don't know uh, uh, what, what things will may happen. We don't know. We don't want to be caught with our work undone, glory to God. So don't, don't, don't ask God for forgiveness and, and really continue to walk in sin, knowing that you are committing sin, enjoying the pleasure the devil has a foothold of us, glory to God. The devil will destroy our lives. All God wants of us is true repentance, glory to God. And he will set us free from all stains of sin. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory to his powerful name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let us just, just enter into prayer. This thing is just, oof, it's just blessing me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Lord, we bless your name, God. Mm. Hallelujah to the most high God. Hallelujah to the great I am. Hallelujah to the God that is more than enough. Glory to God. You are almighty. Hallelujah. You are the Christ. You are the Lord. You are the master. You are the son of the living God. You are the son of man. Glory to God. Almighty God, you are the lamb that was slain. Hallelujah. God, you are almighty. You are Alpha and Omega. You are the author and the perfecter of our faith, Lord God. You are the one who is in all authority. Authority, hallelujah. Almighty God, you are the bread of life. You are the chief cornerstone. Glory to God. You are our deliverer. You are our healer. You are our good, good shepherd. Hallelujah. Almighty God, we worship you on this day, Lord God. We worship Jehovah. We worship Yahweh. We worship El Shaddai. Hallelujah. We worship Elohim. Hallelujah. We worship Jehovah Salon, our peace. We worship Jehovah Tiskanu, the righteous God. Hallelujah. We worship the God that's full of wisdom, hallelujah, the God that is full of power, the God that is full of holiness, hallelujah, the God that has justice and goodness and truth, glory to God. We worship the gentle, kind, compassionate God, hallelujah. Oh, God, we bless your name today, glory to God. We worship the almighty God because of who you are, Lord God. We worship the almighty God for your bountiful greatness, Lord God, for your mighty acts, for your peace that surpasses all understanding, for your unconditional love, oh, God. We worship you, almighty God, because of your gentle spirit, hallelujah. Almighty God, we thank you, hallelujah, that you have provided Everything that we need, God, all we have to do is surrender unto you. Humble ourselves before an awesome God. Father God, you know us better than we know ourselves, God. You know every hell, Almighty God, that is on our heads, God. Nothing that we do, Almighty God, escapes you, Lord God. Father God, you know the end from the beginning, God. You know, oh God, what we're going to say even before we speak it out of our mouths, oh God. You know where we're going before we even leave our current destination, God. Father God, there's nothing that we can do, Father God, that you don't know about, God. You know everything. You know our very thoughts, glory to God. Oh, God, you are such a good God. You are such an awesome God. You are the lily of the valley. You are, almighty God, the bright and the morning star, Lord God. Oh, God, because of you, we rise up every morning, God, with brand new mercies, God. Father God, we thank you, Lord God. Father God, for those mighty, for being such a mighty God. We thank you for being such a powerful God. All we have to do, Almighty God, is just to put our trust and our faith in you, God, and believe in you, Lord God. All we have to do, Father God, is to truly know that you are God, and besides you, there is no one else, God. You will never leave us, God. You will never forsake us. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we know that we are blessed and highly favored in you, Lord God. Father God, you laid down your life that we might have eternal life, Lord God. Father God, so we, Father God, come, Father God, Father God, to give you the praise, to give you the glory, Almighty God, for setting us free, Lord God, to worship your holy name. Hallelujah. Oh God, thank you, Almighty God, for all that you have done and you are still doing for us, glory to God. We thank you, Almighty God, that we know that in spite of what we hear, despite of what we see, God, that you are in full control, God, and we appreciate you, Lord God. We love you, Lord God. Father God, you bring joy to our soul, God. When we are troubled and, and, and trouble is all around us, God, we know to look to the hills for what cometh our help, and we know, God, that our help comes from you, God. We thank you, Father God, that because of you, God, we have peace in our minds, oh God. We have peace in our thoughts and in our deeds, oh God. We have peace, Father God, in our entire nature, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you have taught us to love God. Father God, the way you love us unconditionally, Lord God, you taught us to love our enemies, glory to God. So, God, we just desire to be a blessing, Father God, upon your people. We desire to be used by you, Lord God. We desire, Almighty God, to worship you in true holiness, Lord God, in the name of Jesus God. Oh, God, we cry out to let, let the fire, Father God, that's within us, the Holy Spirit fire, Lord God. Let us continue to be hungry for more and more of you, Lord God, for more of your word, for more revelation of your word, Lord God, that we can understand your word, Lord God, and we can teach others your word, God. We pray, Father God, for our desire for you, God, it will continue to increase, Lord God, that we will not be persuaded by every wind of doctrine, Lord God. We thank you, Almighty God, for your goodness, God. We thank you for the sacrifice that you make for us, God. We get so excited 
excited, oh God, and just walking in obedience to your word, Lord God, to live according to your word, God, to be doers of your word, glory to God. Oh, thank you, almighty God, for taking our place, glory to God, for cleansing us, almighty God, from all unrighteousness, for making us, almighty God, whiter than stone. God, we thank you for Psalms 50, Lord God. We thank you that you have the power to look beyond our faults and to see our need, Lord God. We bless your name, God. We know that there is power, hallelujah, in your name, in the name of Jesus, God. There's nobody like you, God, in all of this earth, Lord God. All power belongs to you. All authority, almighty God, belongs to you. We know, God, that you are in control of this entire universe. You are the great I am, hallelujah. You are the kings of kings, and you are the Lord of lords, hallelujah. No matter what is taking place on this earth, God, we put all of our trust in you, Lord God. We continue to pray, almighty God, for this entire world, Lord God. God, open our eyes that we may see, oh God, the tricks of Satan, God, that he comes only to steal, kill, and destroy, Lord God. We see, Father God, that people desiring, oh God, to fulfill their own desires, oh Lord God, enjoying their own pleasure, Lord God. We know everything, oh God, that we are experiencing in this world, God, is written in your word, Lord God. Help us, almighty God, to open our eyes and see what is happening, Lord God. Let us help us, almighty God, to acknowledge the warning signs, oh God, that you have set before us, God. We know, God, that we are living in the last and evil days. Yes, we've been saying it over and over again, God, but your word tells us, God, the signs of the end times, Lord God. Father God, people will become lovers of themselves, Lord God. They will become lovers of money, Lord God. They will be boastful. They will be proud, God. Children will begin to disobey their parents, oh God, disrespect their parents, oh God. They will be ungrateful, Lord God. They will be unforgiving, Lord God. They will be slanderous, oh God. Father God, with so many things, oh God, that your word tells us, Father God, that lets us see, God, that we must be living in the last and even the weather, Lord God. Father God, one day is hot and the next day is cold, Lord God. Father God, help us to be prepared, oh God. We pray for those, oh God, of us who confess you in our lives but are not truly living in accordance to your word, God. We cry out today, God, that it's not time, Father God, to play church, Lord God, but that we must be sincere, Lord God. Father God, we confess our sins daily to you, Lord God, that you might continue to cleanse us. We cry out for your mercy today, Lord God. Oh God, we pray that you would wake us up before it's too late, God. We pray that we will be fully spiritually equipped, Father God, upon your return, Lord God. Your word said that you will come, Almighty God, like a thief in the night, God. We don't know when you're going to come back, God. So we better always be found, prepared, and ready, Father God, as though it may be right this second in the name of Jesus, God. God, we thank you, oh God, for your continued mercy upon us, God. You've done it all, God. You've paid it all, Lord God. We pray without ceasing, Lord God, for all heads of federal, or those of in federal authority, Lord God. We pray without ceasing, Almighty God, for fivefold minutes to be active, Father God, in the churches, Lord God, all apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers of your word, Lord God. We pray today, oh God, for all church leadership, oh God, every position, Almighty God, that we have, God. Somebody is watching us, Lord God. We pray, Almighty God, that we will be, Father God, an example, Father God, of those, oh God, that may come under us, God, and that they need a, a, a spiritual, Father God, boost in the name of Jesus, God. We cry out for righteousness today, Lord God. Examine us, Almighty God. If you find anything that's not pleasing in your sight, God, remove it as far as the east is from the west, God. Remove it, Almighty God, as far as the north is from the south, God. We pray for protection and covering, Father God, for our youth today, Father God, for our young children as they walk, Father God, the streets to the school buses, as they walk from home, as they go home, Father God, and there's no adults that go with. We pray for your protection, Lord God. We pray for protection, Almighty God, of the young adults, God. We pray, Father God, that you would give the high school graduates and the college graduates directions, Father God, for their futures in the name of Jesus, God. Almighty God, we thank you today, God, that we know that you watch over every sick and afflicted person, God. We thank you, O oh Lord God, that we know, Father God, over 2,000 years ago, God, you took every known and un known disease to the cross, O oh God. So, God, we trust in you, Jehovah Rapha, to be our healer, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you that right now your presence is in the hospitals, God. Everyone that is sick, Lord God. We thank you, O oh God, that you watch over the elderly, Lord God. We thank you for your shield of protection over them, Lord God, that nobody will take advantage of them, Lord God. We continue to pray for the homeless, Lord God. We continue to pray for those, O oh God, who may have had surgery day or they are scheduled for surgery, Lord God, or they may be recovering from surgery, Lord God. God, we pray today, God, for the men and women in the military. We pray for the police officers, Lord God. We pray for firefighters, Lord God. We pray for doctors and nurses and, and all that are affiliated with taking care, Father God, 
of the sick, taking care, Father God, of, of needy situations in the name of Jesus, God. God, we continue to pray for that person, God, that are going through mental disease, that person that's going through suicidal tendencies in the name of Jesus, that person that's, that's dealing with dementia or Alzheimer's, Almighty God, that person, Almighty God, that may be dealing with blood clots in the name of Jesus, God. We pray, Father God, for caregivers, oh God, of every person, oh God, that they are taking care of in the name of Jesus, God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that every disease, every known disease, oh God, that, Father God, you have the power and authority to heal in Jesus' name, God. God, we pray for that person that's laying in hospice hospital right now, God. We pray for the family, oh Lord God, that is going through, Father God, with that family, Lord God, that family member that may be transitioning right now, God. Lord, we pray for innocent people, Father God, that's being shot, that we hear about on the news, and they are being killed innocently, Lord God. Oh, God, we cry out for this world, Lord God, we, that we are living in today, Lord God. Father God, let us determine to be separate. Let us be determined to be peculiar. Let us be determined, God, that we are light, Father God, in a dark world, Lord God. We see a change, oh God, that's, that's not pleasing, Father God, according to your word, Lord God. We see spiritual leaders walking in sin. We see innocent people, oh God, being attacked and hurt. We see divorces, Lord God. We see uncontrolled anger, Lord God. We see violence, oh God, and we know, my God, that this is not of you, but God, in spite of what is going on, we know that you see and hear and you know all things, God. You are still God Almighty, hallelujah. You are still in control. You still have all authority, Lord God. No one and nothing, Almighty God, can take your place, God. So we cry out, God. We trust you, Lord God. We lean not on our own understanding, but we lean on your standing, Lord God. Our faith, Almighty God, is built in your word, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for your word. We cover everything, oh God, according to your word, oh God. We just know to just rest in you and to just trust you, Lord God, to just believe in you, God. There's nothing too hard for you, Lord God. We just, Father God, continue to pray for bereaved families all over this world, Lord God. We pray, Almighty God, that we will learn to be content, oh God, in the state that we're in, because we know, God, that every battle is already won because we belong to you. Glory to God. We rejoice in the God of our salvation. Hallelujah. We know that you will never fail us, God. Huh? You are God. We thank you for your mercy and your grace. Hallelujah. And we bless your name, Lord God, in this is our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray this day. And our heart and our soul says amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Midday glory is just a time for the word of God and just for, to pray and just to thank. And we appreciate everyone that calls in or you may call back later on the call back line or you may go on Facebook and pull it up on my Facebook page or When Christian Speak Talk Radio. We just thank God that you can listen through on iTunes, you can listen through YouTube, you can listen to Spreaker.com. God is blessing When Christian Speak Talk Radio. Glory to God. We just desire to be a blessing to a dying world. Glory to God. We just want to reach everybody. We want to reach all the foreign countries in Jesus' name. So we continue to let you know that we are uh, we, we, um uh, receiving prayer requests, and if you desire to send us a prayer request, you can send it to middayglory at gmail.com, or you can send it to whenchristianspeak.com. Amen. So just continue to share this with someone that you know, someone that you love. Share it with your enemy. Let them know that the, that Midday Glory comes every Wednesday at 1 o'clock, and we pray that it's a blessing to every listener in Jesus' name. So we thank you. We remind you to stay focused on Christ. Know that he loves us unconditionally. Know that he will never change. And know that he is our God who forgives. God bless you, and I'll hear you next week. Bye-bye.